We're now going to have a look at the abductor hallucis and we're going to start off by finding that plantar fascia and that central cord again in a long axis view and get in a nice clear view of that originating off of the calcaneus here where my cursor is. I'm then going to follow that down slightly into the midfoot, spin my probe round and I'll see then that plantar fascia, if I particularly if I glide my probe round slightly more medial, the plantar fascia, bring my depth up a touch as well, sitting superficial to the flexor digitorum brevis muscle. Okay. If we then bring the probe round a little bit further, more medial, we'll start to see the muscle belly here of abductor hallucis. Okay. And you can follow that down distally if you wish to see it start to come in to form a central tendon at this point here adjacent to my cursor and if I get the patient to wiggle their big toe at that point we'll see that move around a little bit and as we come back up we start to see it form into that muscle okay and we can see that nicely here okay and that's your abductor hallucis muscle okay and you can see where my probus has actually sits quite a long way medially there. As we come back round, we then got FDB again in the middle of the picture here, flexor torum brevis, and superficial to it, the plantar fascia. So you can see the relationship of these structures now together, and it hopefully helps you navigate to the abductor hallucis very nice and easily by using that familiar landmark of the plantar fascia.